So welcome along to a great little uh, painting for your Patreon viewers and uh, let's start with Big Brian, he's a great guy, there he is, big round ended brush and he gets all the work done very, very quickly. So all we're going to do is start with just clean water. So we rotate this around the central area where the light is going to uh, uh, glow from. And we just round the brush there, simply big dollops and uh, keep using that circular motion. Then we're going to dive in with lemon yellow, nice and weak and following that circular motion again and this builds up the glow effect so light being white and then lemon yellow getting richer and bigger areas covered as we move away from the light. Then cadmium orange using the same technique circular dropping into the colors that are there let it bleed together and this uh, this builds up that glow you can almost cook toast with this now because the heat is there rose opera again getting the warm tones in there further and further away from the light as we uh, as we build up that shape I'm going to dive in with Royal Blue, which is a Sennelier colour, quite a rich colour. You see that uh, jumps in there and we're putting this right to the edge of the square that we've built up. And this will bleed back in, so you need, do need to keep it away from the light and let it work its uh, individual magic as, uh, as it sees fit. even richer blue now ultramarine blue and again to the corners still as you notice following that circular motion so the light getting starting with light and then getting darker and darker in tone the further we are away from the uh, original light source we're going to change brushes now for a little mini dave and we're going in with a thicker consistency of Rose Opera. And again we're building these shapes, flower heads, that's what they're going to be in that circular fashion. Again following the light, not going direct, directly over the lights, just going around. Now we're going to jump in with sap green, still mini Dave, and again imagine these are the uh, leaves off the flowers, so uh, we position them around the flowers in a reasonable position, still circular though, I don't know if you notice, you s you'll be spinning around, you'll need to sit down very soon, because this will send you dizzy going in all these circles, so just continue with the sap green, just add in larger dobs and smaller dots as you uh, as you go along. Some quite thick ultramarine blue now, right in the corners. The darker you get the corners, the lighter the centre will look. It emphasises the uh, light against the dark there. So uh, continue just around the corners, the top edges, and yours will. Uh, you'll need to wear sunglasses very soon. 
because of the bright light. A little bit of a lizard and crimson now, we're just putting this behind the flower heads. So wherever the light's shining, this is going to be on the darker outer side of the flowers in relation to where the light's shining. So on the right, they're going to be on the right. On the left, they're going to be on the left. So uh, a good little rule of thumb there. A little bit of Miss Rigger work now. Great large Rigger brush. And we're using Perillion green, so a dark green to throw on a few fabulous little stems. And again, they're coming either from the left or the right. Notice these are from the left at the moment. And just gently add a little bit. You don't need to explain where the stem ends, more where it begins just at the base of the flowers. So a little bit more perylene green now on Miss Maria, just pushing this to the left and right of some of the stems to give us the uh, actual leaf effect. Gently done, not overworked, and just building it up slowly. So now we've got a drier area to work on. We're just going to jump back in with Mini Dave and some richer alizarin crimson. We're just going to place this again on the base of the flowers just to uh, strengthen them up and uh, give them more impact for the light. Just building that in circles, so to the right and to the left hand side. We're going to use Miss Rigger again, just diving back in with a few heavier strokes for the uh, stems, just building them up nice and gently, just picking out a few, we don't go over all of them, that'd be a bit of overkill, that wouldn't be great would it? So gently put them on, build them up slowly and create your fabulous, fabulous floaty floral sky. So well done guys, you have done spectacularly well. Give this one a go. Uh, this is uh, The full version is available on my Patreon channel. If you'd like to take a look at that, just click below in the description. It will take you straight over there. And you'll get uh, all the uh, narration. And it's a longer version. Plus uh, pencils and all the other little bits you, uh, you uh, deserve by uh, your support on Patreon. So thanks so much for joining me guys, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this one. Watch out for the next one and uh, you too will be loose in no time.